Hey guys, my name's Nate, and I'm the Outdoor Tourisman, and this is Cassie. Hi. And I'm out today testing out my uh, new GoPro session, and we're out hiking uh, one of our favorite parks. Um, hopefully going to, well, I doubt we're going to see the beaver that we like to see. Probably not. Um, we have a small pond here called Echo Pond. Um, but just kind of testing out the GoPro session as well. Um, but I figured I'd take you out on the hike. Uh, so, let's see how this goes. We're coming up to the hill that leads up to Echo Pond. It's the beginning of the hike, but pretty cool. Yeah. That looks like the uh, the bridge isn't submerged. Yeah. I think that's the only time we've been in that part is in the winter. Because every summer it's it floods. I'll just go check out the beaver dam. <coughs> I can only get a better view of the the beaver hut. <sighs> Yeah. whenever it's not submerged uh, going on to it because you really get to see the lake um, but then we're gonna double back and go see the beaver dam and the beaver hut um, I've been trying to catch this on camera though I always come around the wrong time of the day um, there's actually some unused footage of mine for <laughs> a video because the wind ruined some of it but also doing a video on a beaver without a beaver has always seemed wrong to me. So this caster room will definitely be in a video someday, but that's the downside of nature photography. You need nature for said photography. And they don't like to cooperate. Now, so I sometimes some nature videos take a long time for me to do, but we know he's here. I've always seen active beaver trees when we're here. So I'll bring him back when we're on the bridge. <sighs> so much for the bridge. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like we're not crossing over here, but there's some cool beaver activity. So we're checking it out. Especially it looks like some recent beaver activity. Yeah, that or someone got really 
really hungry. Let's see. <sighs> A couple months old at least. Wow, they really did eat up a lot of the stuff over here. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks more like a windblown though. Yeah. Cassie's just pointing me to the the widowmaker right here, the uh, sweet perch, betula lenta. But that one right there, <laughs> that one's a widowmaker and a half. I'm not a beaver expert, so someone may have to tell me this back uh, on the internet, but it's looking like there's some younger tooth marks here next to like these bigger ones over here. Looks like they may have some younglings. I was looking at where they're eating the Cambrian layer here. Looks like some young tooth marks. With some little ones next to my hands. There has to be some young ones here too, which it's actually pretty cool. It makes me want to try and get out here to take some pictures of them. Let's hope that's on camera, but yeah. Some young pictures of them. Love to get some pictures of these guys. But a quick bit of knowledge on them is what they do is they'll knock down a tree like this. And not only will they eat the the bark, some of the wood or the bark, but they do it to get at the the younger shoots or the branches up at the top, which have a lot more nutrients. So it makes it easier to eat. So it's really cool. But it's getting more traffic over here, so we're gonna head over and look at the, the hutch. So this is a sweet birch, and you can actually really see the oxidation, which is, uh, or black birch, which is why it's actually called black birch, the oxidation. So why it gets the name uh, mahogany birch. Scientific name of this, Betula lenta. Now we're getting close to the uh, beaver hut. Looks pretty damaged, but it's always been looking a little bit more damaged every time I see it. But the beaver dam actually looks like it's had more work done on it. Or the water's lower. Or both. Could be. But there is Beaver Dam. It's actually one of the places we tend to cross because there's a path behind it. And it's one of the other ways I know that there are beavers here, because it tends to be maintained. But... And... I've seen running water here. And beavers actually catch running water. It's effectively an instinct. Um, I've read studies where they <laughs> actually ran simulated sounds of running water and the beavers hatched it on the speakers that were out of the water. But it's pretty cool. They're trying to figure out what initiated the hatching, but
See anything cool in the water? Looking, not finding anything. <laughs> I mean, it's cold and it's icy, so anything would be asleep. I'm just listening to the ice crack underneath the bridge as I step. <laughs> So what are you? See that tree right over there? Yeah. It's like nicked at the bottom where they were chewing, yeah. and then it split up. Yeah, because one of the one of the things that they do is they'll chop it halfway through, and then they'll let the wind do the rest, which is pretty cool. I love seeing that they do that. They use physics to their advantage, which is why a lot of cuts tend to be on the same side most times. Or it tends to be at least towards the water. But yeah, pretty cool. Let's keep walking. Way off trail. What's that? There's another one. Yeah. It's all the way down and then towards the bottom you can see where they would just chewed on the the, the higher Cambrian layer. Which is pretty cool. A lot of beaver activity around here. <laughs> Let's go check out their hut. We're not gonna get super close, but I don't want to disturb them. But super close. This is what I was talking about was that and then that's eventually going to die in that fall but better look at their hut notice is they're maintaining a hole if they are there they're maintaining a hole by the water um, or by the maintaining a hole in the ice potentially or it could just be crazy I might take out my camera and take some pictures maybe They're nocturnal though, or they're mostly nocturnal, so we're not going to see them today. We're out during like noon.
Here we see the nape in his natural habitat. Watch his defense mechanism as he tries to not roll down the hill. Hi beavers, we're, Hi. Heading, we're heading out on the trail, back out on the trail, <laughs> enough futzing around, let's head out. Now for the hike to actually begin. <laughs> Couple miles, which shouldn't be too bad. So we just came across that ice and film it. It's pretty slippery. I mean, it's 40 degrees out today, but the ice is still uh, out in force. It's been like rainy and breezy. That's a word. Okay. So we at the crossroads we talked about? I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, we are. No, we're not. No. No, we're we're here. Yeah. So if we continue up here, then we'll head to the crossroads we talked about. Yep. Then we'll decide if we want to go see a view or just keep make it shorter and go see our favorite pond. Well, one of our favorite ponds. That's the one with the beaver. The other one where the water's really, really clear and we just, it's really nice. It's a nice place to just sit and kind of stare into the water and be mesmerized. Just stare into the abyss. And let's get hiking. Is it? Oh yeah. So, which means either up here. There's three different ways to go. Yeah. So either go that way or that way. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Do you want to go that way or that way? The longer way with the with the nice view. The view. The view. The view. The view. Parlez vous. <laughs> okay. Allez-vous français? That's about it for the French I speak. <sighs> a little bit of a hill, but a little view. The view is worth the climb. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I love this area is all the eastern white pines. Find a strobus. Freaking love eastern white pine. They're everywhere around here. 
spring. And coming up the spring, we have a nice little treat. Nice little edible, the fresh shoots will be uh, edible and you can kind of just pick them off, eat them, mix them into stuff. Pretty cool. One of the buddies on YouTube I've been getting to know would like that. Oh, Hank from Northwest Forger. Wouldn't ya? Hopefully when the season comes, I'll try and do a video on them. Fortunately, by the time I got the video, the season will be over. So, Eastern Pines. I mean, you won't be able to see them, but anyone else will. Keep an eye out. leveled out. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I need to put my arm down for a second. It's getting tiring to vlog like this. <laughs> so we're checking out one of the spots that I think I remember having a view at. I know I've done some videos up here before, but we're checking it out nonetheless. I've seen some snakes up here before too. Um, did the whole video up here. Also the Azama Federation Ladder video up here too. So. To the right, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely a view. Not the view that they have, but one of them. At least it looks cool. So, take you up here and show you the better one, though. Coming up. The view is trees. lunch but you pack snacks because as I always tell people pack a snack when you hike um, never know when you're gonna get hungry so we just filled up on some food and we got going I had one of my favorites Parmesan goldfish but uh I guess you have the uh what, what type of mix is that again uh, was it the party mix party check mix, mix. Uh, it's like a snack mix uh, Jesus that we've had around the house. <laughs> yeah. Has a bunch of stuff on it. Um, and it's like a Cheez-It box and it's really good. We've had it in the house um, just to try it. And I meant to buy, like I'm out of a lot of my hiking snacks. And so we just, <laughs> we just threw a bunch of our house snacks into a baggie and, and some baggies and got going. So, it was good. It gave us some calories to get going. So. Bring you guys back in when we have something interesting. So, they were having some sort of reindeer event at this park. And, well, I think we found one. Fortunately, it's not a reindeer that you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks like it's made with white birch. Uh, well, white birch, beech, oak, sassafras, sweet birch. It's a hybrid of a bunch of different trees. <laughs> it's adorable. Sort of weird, but it's kind of cute. <sighs> gotta love, gotta love the woods. I always find something interesting. I'll tell you about some of the other ones later that I've found in the woods that are kind of interesting. <sighs> this, because this doesn't take the cake for the most weird thing I found in the woods. Trust me. So now we're coming up on the really nice view. I haven't been showing a lot of the, the jury hikes because, well, we've kind of just been beating feet, uh, putting mileage underneath our, our legs. I mean, it's not too much of miles, but kind of just been hiking. Um, but I want to show you this cool view. Because it's a lot nicer than the other one, because it's not just trees. The other one, you get the trees and a little bit of the skyline. This one, you get a little bit more. You gotta climb these rocks though. Cassie's kind of leading the charge though. She really likes this view. Well, time for the somewhat big reveal. I mean, it's not as beautiful as any other ones that I've had, but. Do, 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 do. Nevertheless, it's a pretty sight. Me and Cassie like uh, stopping here every time we're on this trail. Because mm -hmm. it's pretty. Shall we hit the trail again? Yep. Let's get going. This is a site we don't always see on the eastern, uh, eastern coast-ish side of uh, Massachusetts. You see them as you go further into the western side of Massachusetts, but this is eastern hemlock. At least in the woods, you sometimes find them as ornamentals. Uh, these woods tend to be dominated by uh, Eastern uh, white pine, uh, but these are cool wild edible, which are not poisonous. As opposed to do 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 over here, which is a young Panastrobus or Eastern White Pine. Clusters of uh, five needles. Oh, another wild edible tip. Boop, boop. A little bit of cool information for you. This is literally what hikes with me are like.
I just randomly point to plants and go, this is what that is. <sighs> Anyways, back to hiking. We're actually coming on to the other pond that we like to go stare into the abyss of. Even though it's not really that deep. Oh no, we're never crossing. How will we ever survive? Yeah, I'll be fine. Meet your dogs, people. Seriously. I'll go into more about that later. Eh, it's not a video for that. Anyways. We're coming onto the pond. Um, uh, take the left one because that one has our favorite view. But during the summer, I love this pond. Um, Eventually, I'll probably tell you guys which park this is. Uh, reason I don't is because I like coming here a lot. And I don't always like showing off exactly which park I like going to a lot. I'll show off other ones, but not my favorite parks. The sheer fact that... I mean, if you want to reach out to me in private, go for it. I'll tell you which park it is in Massachusetts. Um, but I just don't like telling it off private and public because I like privacy. But uh, <laughs> at least my like my one or two or three normal haunts that I hit. But I will eventually. We'll see. Um, but I will. But I love this pond just because of the clarity of it. Possibly. Stop here, take a look. What's that, sweetie? Than the first one we saw. I don't know why. Because <laughs> the neck is kind of short in proportion to the rest of his body. It's a little further I love this pond that's frozen right now, so you really can't tell that it's clear, but during the summer and the spring, this water is super, super clear. And I've, I've stuck one of my other GoPro in the water before. You could see pretty, you had a pretty good clarity. I don't know what there is in here for fish, but it's a... Uh, I'd love to come check this out because there's some picnic benches nearby and some benches. Love to come here for a picnic with my family. But pretty cool, but this place is pretty high traffic, so. Alright, sweetie. Yeah. Which is why I say to people, what I said earlier leash your dogs because we had a few dogs run up to us and not big on dogs. Um. 
mind them, but I don't like dogs, I don't know. And I've had to see, I've seen almost a few people's dogs interact badly today, so. It's bothers me when I'm on a hike and I have dogs running up to me and I've seen bad dog dog interactions in areas where you're supposed to be leashing your dogs. I'm gonna be going into a I have a I have a video planned for that, but it, it always bothers me. And also people who don't throw away their dog poop. I haven't seen that as much here as I have in other trails. But I I said that's another discussion for another day. This is a good hike. Um, but anyways. Awesome. Awesome pond. But we'll probably get going in a couple minutes. But if you guys, um, if you guys liked this, yeah, it's heavy, so you're not staring to the sun. Um, if you guys liked a vlog style video like this, where I take on a hike and just kind of vlog it, let me know. Um, seriously, I may throw a. Uh, I may throw up a card as a poll just to see what your guys' opinions on this. I used to do them on occasion. I don't do them as much anymore. Um, but if you guys like it, the session makes it easier. Um, and I may buy a couple. I may see if I can get my hands on another one because the batteries on these don't last this long. Um, and it's harder to recharge them. But if you guys like it, I may start trying doing them again. Um, so we'll see how it goes. See how editing it goes. So this was an experiment. So. We're gonna head back to the car um, and we're gonna head out. Leave you guys with this pond. See you guys in the next video. Bye. My name's Nate, I'm the Outdoor Outdoorsman. Bye. Bye. Remember, get out in the woods, have some fun. Check out something new, check out a new park. While the cards roll, I'll leave you with this site.